Yo, what's up? My name's Panda and welcome to the channel where we are going to be doing something a little bit different here today. It's going to be something a little bit similar to my um, top five tips to get in a 4K badge, which went down pretty well on the channel. And uh, recently, having dropped the 20 bomb badge for the first time ever, I thought I'd do a video talking you through my 20 bomb game and any tips, tricks that I had just to make it a lot easier or, you know, a lot more achievable for um, the average gamer out there like myself. So if Solo's ending in a couple of weeks and we don't know if or whenever it will return, I, uh, I rushed getting this video out because I think that Solo's is by far the most achievable slash easiest way to get a 20 bomb badge, uh, especially currently, um, because it is so incredibly hard in pubs. And maybe in lower ranks, if you're good enough and you really rush through the squads and probably solo queue, then you're probably going to get, well, more of a chance to get a 20 bomb. But in solos, my god, them chances are massively, massively increased. So whilst it's active, just play as many games as you can of solos, just try and push as much as you can and stuff, and yeah, maybe you'll just get into one of those lucky lobbies like I've got into here where, yeah, you know what, the player base isn't as hard as probably, you know, 90% of my games, so we've got lucky, but um, yeah, there's still a couple of decent players in here with some decent movement and stuff and a, a good bit of aim, so yeah, certainly not like a full bot lobby, but it's you know nowhere near as good as what you know i'm normally facing so yeah we got lucky just by playing a lot of games and uh yeah eventually got a lobby like this so yeah don't give it hope keep going i've dropped a couple of videos that probably haven't come out yet uh they're gonna be like road to 4k ones but um yeah you'll see in them that we come extremely close a couple of times with maggie so as you saw in the first uh, fights, we acted pretty quickly and uh, and yeah, just tried to push as quickly as we could. We didn't mess about too long getting loot, which is probably my key thing. And you want to drop fairly close to where most people land. You know, we dropped in a nice little building there and got lucky that two people landed outside. But then we could immediately push this area that we're in now, which is kind of a high traffic area. We know that, you know, a lot of people tend to land here, especially because the ship went directly um, over this top bit. So um, yeah, we know that there's going to be plenty of people here to uh, hopefully fight and increase our kills. Okay. So as we fight this actually, I want to get onto my first kind of top tip, and that is don't stay in the game if the 20 bomb's not achievable. Okay, fair enough, stay in the game if you're on like a, a fairly high kill game, maybe like 10 to, you know, with anything between 10 and 20 kills, basically. Obviously, stay in the game, maybe go for the win, uh, just, you know, get some uh, some good kills in on the, on the legend that you're playing. But if you, like, land off drop and die, like, immediately, or let's say you only get, like, one or two kills and then die, just quit because you've you've already lost like your back like your backup life. There's no point in like staying around because by the time you've landed again, you know, there's a good chance that a lot of people might have died and yeah, you just wanna it'll put you randomly as well, like in the middle of the map, so it might not be achievable to fly back to where your um, your body died and where everyone landed. So um yeah, in my experience in like the like almost every game that I've played where I've died early on and tried to see it out. The lobby's been dead. I mean, even here, we've got an incredibly good start, but, you know, there's only 30 players left. We've got down to 29 now. Um, but, you know, I know some of them may have two lives, so, you know, you can double that. But is it worth the risk if you didn't get a good start? Probably not. You'll spend most of your time just running around looking for people. I mean, we get lucky that we've got a balloon. We can just push straight back over to another fight and, you know, search for more kills. But, yeah, if you die off rip, just leave. There's no point just seeing it out. Just leave. I know it sounds stupid and it's, you know, probably not the ideal way to play Apex, but if you're going for the 20 bomb, you want to minimize the amount of time that you're needing to play this game. You just want to get in and out of them games as quickly as possible. You want the best start that you can get. If you land, you're on six kills and die, hell, stay in the game because that's a good amount of kills to start off with. So you can happily go and, uh, and push other fights, you know, knowing that you've got a nice chunk to start the, uh, start the, like, your first life off with. So this clip here where we've just killed the Ash from a riot drill moves perfectly onto my second tip and that is to pick the right legend. Alright, I tried a couple of legends in solos and you know, everyone knows that every legend is amazing in this game. Some are better than others and in solos some are even better than others, right? <laughs> so I love Bangalore. She's my like main legend, the one that I played, put loads of hours into, wanted the 20 bomb with played a load of games with her and the highest I could get was 16 kills. I was just really struggling. I think her abilities are pretty terrible for solos. I mean, the smirk, yeah, it's okay. And then the ult is, I mean, it's pretty crap because it stops you from pushing someone. Maybe it might buy you a bit of time to heal up, but you know, most of the time it's just going to get in the way. 
but also her passives are pretty crap, right? You get the ping thing. I mean, yeah, you get the uh, the double time thing. It's not as good as it used to be. That's pretty decent. You get the ping thing when someone's um, shooting at you. That's not as powerful as it used to be now. It's just like kind of a marker. And then, I mean, what's the first one? I think it's like a, a decrease in ult time or tactical time. Pretty useless. Um, so, yeah, I struggled with her. Um, then moved on to Mirage, where I thought he's probably going to be the best ever 1v1 legend. His abilities, his um, his like little perks and stuff like that, they're all made for being the ultimate 1v1 legend. And I played a couple of games with him. Again, I think the highest we got was about 16. And uh, we ain't even got the 4k with Mirage, so I thought I could kill two birds with one stone there. But, um, you know what, I soon quickly came to realise that Maybe there's an even better legend than Mirage, and uh, and that gives us the uh, the legend we're playing right now, which is Mad Maggie. Now, Mad Maggie is so good for a number of reasons, and I think definitely is the best legend and easiest legend to get high kill games with. We got multiple multiple high kill games with her before this um, this 20 bomb, uh, and that's all because of her abilities, right? Shotguns are incredibly powerful in solos at the minute, you know, whether you like the Peacekeeper, I prefer the Mastiff personally, but she, you know, she can run full sprint with the Mastiff out, so you've always got a gun there, so even if someone just kind of lands on your last minute, you've got your gun ready, you don't need to mess about like kind of getting it out, you know, you move quickly when you're in gunfights with it, you've got the drill, if you get the, um, whether you go for the two like uh, drill ones or the, the other one where it increases the radius it burns and the longer time it lasts, that's what I'm using in this one and that absolutely shreds people. I think we kill two or three people with the drill in this, so it just shows you like how good it is. And then on top of that, you've also got the ball, the goddamn wrecking ball that you can, if you're in a bit of uh, trouble, which I were in the uh, with the octane a little bit, uh, like a little bit a minute ago. Um, we uh, we launched the ball at him and it just absolutely destroyed all momentum in, he had in uh, kind of finishing us. It stunned him. He couldn't see a thing. Yeah, I know we couldn't see much, but we got pretty lucky and managed to win the fight. So yeah, it was a full turning point with uh, with using her um, her ball, which is like an incredible ability that's underutilized in that one v one situation. And then finally, to not bigger up enough, is the kind of like the passive perks that you choose. Uh, one of them is that shotguns reload after a knock, so you could literally be like. On the last bullet, kill the person with the shotgun, boom, you've got five bullets back in the chamber no matter what level the shotgun is at. So that is just an incredible perk. And like I said, the other one is the is the drill choices. Either one is a really, really good choice. And um, yeah, it just makes it such a good legend out there. I think there's a couple of other good like kind of 1v1 legends. I think Wraith's still always going to be good because of the hitbox and stuff like that. But yeah, just look at abilities and stuff like that when you're choosing your legend. You know, it's going to be so much easier to get it on a kind of Mirage or Mad Maggie um, legend than it is to be, you know, obviously like a Gibraltar or something like that. Um, so yeah, always pick the right legend. You know, even if you're trying to, if you're desperate to get a 20 bomb and you don't care what legend it is, I'd highly advise Maggie. If you haven't got that specific legend you want to get it with, keep trying. You probably will, you know, eventually get close or maybe get it. But um, yeah, it's definitely highly advised trying it with Maggie and see how you get on. Okay, so my third tip is, uh, again, this is pretty similar to the 4K one in that it's choose your right guns, all right? There is guns that are so powerful on this game at I minute, mean, and especially in solos, all right? Like I said, Mastiffs, uh, Mastiffs, shotguns in general, are incredibly strong in solos. It just seems to be that, you know, a lot of the fights seem to be kind of close up, especially because you got that um, that alert where when you're within 50 meters, it kind of tells you someone's there. You know, that's, I wouldn't say it's like shotgun range, but you're not going to be far off by the time that you see them. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd advise taking a shotgun. If not, then at least an SMG. You want something for the close range um, availability. And, uh, you know, SMG wise, I've bigged up in a couple of my videos, the Prowler. I genuinely think that is the best SMG on the game. It's still so good. The hip fire, especially when you've got the purple um, laser sight, that thing absolutely shreds. You don't need to aim down the sights at all for it. And then primaries, yeah, you can still get your preferences, whether it's like kind of a 301 or flatline or something. I still think the hemlock is still absolutely busted. We use it in this one and we absolutely shred with it. But if you get a choice of any gun, my god, if you land on a Havoc and just keep a Havoc all game, whether that's a, a like a white tier one or if you're lucky enough to get the gold one, you absolutely shred with that. I'm not joking. If you if you land on a gold Havoc, you should be coming out of that first area if there's enough people with a minimum of five kills. That thing absolutely shreds through armor. It's, oh, it's so broken. It's actually broken. 
So yeah, if you see a Havoc, pick it up, take it, grab as much energy ammo as you can because obviously it flies through it. And taking something like a shotgun as a secondary is not as bad because then, you know, you can run that one stack of um, kind of shotgun ammo uh, and just run all the rest as energy. But yeah, highly advise if you can get yourself a hold of a Havoc, use it in this game. I don't think I actually came across one and I was feeling pretty comfortable with the Hemlock anyway, so we kind of stuck with that loadout. So my fourth tip is probably not the most useful one, but I still think it's kind of a, a good little, you know, one that people don't think about. And that's just drop white meds. You do not need syringes, you do not need med kits. In solos, you just heal automatically, as I'm sure you all know. There's no point in them meds, because by the time you start popping a syringe, your automatic healer's already probably kicked in. So I'd just drop them and trade that out for an extra couple of, you know, cells, or, you know, carry as many bats as you can, slash ammo. Um, ammo's not that important, because again, you know, if you kill them for the first time, they're going to drop that big bunch and set of ammo so you know don't worry too much about that um but uh yeah drop the white meds take the cells take the bats take a bit of ammo whatever you want you know frags just don't use meds there's just no point in them whatsoever kind of a quick you know little tip that one not the most important one but you know i still think it's something that's quite useful that i see loads of people when i loot the death boxes i've still got like syringes and stuff in there and i'm like just get rid of them you don't need them okay and then my final tip is just a simple one and that is just be smart with your fights yeah you need to push everything because you need to get as you know as many as many kills as you can if you hear someone fight and if you can go in there and shoot the person who's on the lowest health compared to the person that's on the most health you might be able to get a two for one i mean we managed to get lucky right at the start of this video we got that octane who was like one hp and then we managed to kill the other octane that was hunting him down that was also fairly weak but you know that was two kills free off the bat right there so yeah we got real lucky with that so yeah, although you need to push everything, like I say, just play a bit smart. Because in some cases, if you take a lot of damage, I mean, there was a bit halfway through this game, we were absolutely railing the Octane and he managed to stim away. I was also, I think, on zero shields. I think by the time, if I'd have chosen to push the Octane, by the time I got there, he'd have probably been able to be full health because his auto regen had kicked in and he might have got a bat off as well and then we're dead we've lost a life and then we're playing it a bit risky then for the final um, like section of the game and also may have lost out on a couple of kills if it spawned us miles away so yeah just be smart you know be aggressive but just think in the background do I need to push that is it worth it and uh, you know can I get a better position you know when we were pushing that octane originally I just waited because I thought, you know what, the zone's closing in, he's got to come to me. And look, it paid off because we got a ballistic that came out of nowhere that they killed, and we got the octane that we killed, so it was like a two for one. Uh, where before, if I'd have killed that octane, I'd have just run off and left it because I didn't know the ballistic was there. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. That was just kind of my top five tips what I found whilst uh, playing solos and managing to get a 20 bomb. You know, I know I didn't do too much of the kind of breakdown in gameplay analysis. You know, we kind of fed back on it a little bit of the here and there. I just thought it was even better to get the um, the tips out there instead and um, and hope they help you guys get your first ever 20 bomb or multiple 20 bombs if you've already got one. You're probably not watching this video, but yeah, especially if it's your first one. Hope these tips kind of help you out or at least help you drop them high kill games, whether they're like 10. 15 18 kills whatever they are i hope it helps out and uh yeah hope you enjoyed this one and until next time peace